What's up? What's up, riders? It's Paul with another ride home review. And once again, I'm going to be talking about the a newer release, a newer stream that is online. In fact, you can find this one on Amazon Prime. And today we're going to be talking about The Last Black Man in San Francisco, which is directed by Joe Talbot and stars Jimmy Falls, uh, Jonathan Majors, and Rob Morgan. But before we get into that, do not forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your favorite podcasting platform as including Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, as well as like us on Facebook, like like us, like me on Facebook, and follow on Instagram. So what is The Last Black Man in California, or excuse me, in San Francisco all about? Because it, well, it takes place in San Francisco or California, so not quite too wrong on that regard. And so... It follows kind of a semi-true story of Jimmy Falls, the lead actor, or I'm sorry, Jimmy Fails, the lead actor in the in this uh, the story, and um, and how it revolves around a house that is key to his family, and how he is just trying to make sure that that structure um, really is a focal point. Now, what did I like about this film? First of all, it's a very original film. It's a really good story about somebody's past and how that past has affected them and and how they and how it has affected him in a way that it developed who he wa- who he was and affected those around him. I really enjoyed the story. I thought the characters were really well developed and the acting and the the direction of the of the characters and the actors was really top notch. The cinematography was absolutely outstanding. It was just picturesque. A lot of what they did, a lot of the movements or non movements um, with the camera, which was really good and really well done. I just really enjoyed those three aspects the most. Um, the direction, uh, the the story, um, and the cinematography. They all worked in conjunction with each other and painted that picture. Um, another thing that was really key that I thought was the soundtrack. The soundtrack was, was very beautiful, very moving. And it moved to this movie right along um i wouldn't say it's the fastest pace of movie but i don't think it had to be and it shouldn't have been it had a really old-fashioned feel to it um with how they used the music and you know and 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 just the development of the scene structure um and, and the pacing was just right on board with that and I really liked the choices the director made and of course the cinematographer um like I said it was a realistic movie there was I mean it just painted this this facade I mean the house in and of itself in which they revolved around the the whole action was a character in of a a, of itself and just was just this um, extension of the caretaking persona of Jimmy. And I really, I really enjoyed how that developed. Um, What I did not, there wasn't much I didn't like about this film. I thought it was unique. I thought it was very needed. And I liked how it focused on the Bay Area. Again, it seemed like 2018 and 2019 really did a lot of, um, with like blind spotting and uh, um, sorry to bother you. I mean, it just brought this culture uh, of that area um, into the forefront. And I think that this, this film really um, added to that as well as um, I mean, but on the flip side, there was a couple things that I didn't care. I didn't like. Um, And those things in essence, were 
uh, I didn't feel like there was as, as good of a structure as the story was, as good as the pacing as the film was developed. I th- felt that there wasn't enough on Jimmy's past. And then there was some issues that, that boiled up that just seemed like they got glossed over instead of being elements that, that helped with the development. I felt, I felt that the subtlety of some of the, the development and the story was maybe just a little too subtle. Like maybe they, the, the film was supposed to be a little bit longer than what it was. And it just didn't flesh out some, some character, uh, things I would have liked to see more of Jimmy's backstory um, a little bit more, have that more, a little more fleshed out instead of being told, ha- you know, um, in kind of like a hair, a hair, a hearsay, um, just seeing some more of that fleshed out. Um, what to watch for. I mean, just, I mean, I talked about it before, but the cinematography is just really well done. It's just very moving. Um, and it just, it just paints the picture well, um, and the situations and the framing and, uh, just how they use the camera in general, um, throughout this film. So that's what I would ask you to watch for. So for me, this film gets a yes, a big yes. Um, to watch. Like I said, it's streaming right now on Amazon Prime. You can watch it um, at any point in time. If you have that type of subscription, I highly recommend it. Um, It's not necessarily a film you need to see on a big screen because it's very character driven and really well, well played. So the last black man in San Francisco, go see it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Or subscribe to the podcast on uh, all your podcasting platforms. Like on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and until next time, watch something cool.